Okay, so guys, this week's Boruto episode, pretty fucking nuts. I'm gonna late to it because I literally just watched it now, but a lot happened. It doesn't seem like it's just going to be a slice of life, just Boruto story and telling through the academy, but a lot of small baby things are gonna be happening leading up to a certain point of God knows what it's gonna be. So of course, if you guys are enjoying, sub a like, subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below, but let's get with it. Boruto, more towards the end, I wanna talk about that later. But the guys kind of get into it with the girls. Maybe I'm fucked up, but I kind of agree with the dudes. I'm like, they just sit there. Like, well, you know, Jin says, like, you guys sit there. You're, you're crazy about the small things in life that no one gives a shit about. And I'm like, tell them again, dude. Drag them. But they do kind of have a point, though, as well. You can't just ignore the females. They got a point, you know? They fuck up everything, dude. These guys fuck up literally everything. So, they, they had a point, you know? They had a point. They had a point, which I had respect. Uh, so their counselor teacher basically decided they have to go through these ex basically Like this field test his course uh, within the school system in the building But they set up a ton of booby traps So they have to coordinate together guys versus girls whoever gets the flag wins and I guess they kind of can set rules and do whatever they want and stuff like that so Basically everybody needed to get this because they could put their respect and their title and all their authority and yada 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 all over that right so you get to see, you know, Iwabe show off a little bit. You know, this is Earth style. He's very talented, I'm not going to lie. Um, but what I do like is, yes, everybody in this academy is very talented, especially this class. But they have a lot of flaws as well. Where, example, Iwabe can use Earth style, but it's a very basic type of stuff. Um, Boruto can make only a limited amount of Shadow Clones. He can't make, like, 200. When you look at Boruto versus Naruto, Naruto could make over, like... He had the multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu when he fought uh, Misaki. I think that was his name was, the white haired dude in like episode 3 or some shit, and Naruto summoned like what, two, 200 shadow clones, I think it was 100 shadow clones, it was multi, it was something like that, I don't know, and Boruto's max, we don't know, but I don't think it's more than that, I think he can get, what, like, like 5, so, yeah, yeah, they're very talented, but they have a lot of flaws, or Boruto can't even do that as much as Naruto did as a kid, um, Shigamaru, Shigadai, I guess you could say, he's nothing like his father. He can use the jutsu that he's definitely mastered through his father, but he can't hold it, essentially. Like, we saw even with the Metal Lee, obviously even today's episode, where he couldn't hold it. Uh, so he just can't hold it. And Inojin, uh, well, he can use the scrolls, just like Sai can, but like, like with the same thing with Shigadai, he can't hold it. He can only use it a limited amount of time, and it runs out, it wears out, essentially. And once it's done, it's done. And he no longer has any energy to do it again. So, yeah. And then Choji's uh, daughter, Chocho. Well, she can use the human size moves. She also loses a lot of energy in the process. So, a lot of things like this. I like that they're showing their flaws because everybody who watches this series thinks that every character's entire show is already broken as a child, already broken before getting. And that's not the case at all. They have a lot of flaws. And a lot of people are saying Boruto stronger than Naruto's a kid. Do we have to remind you all that Naruto not only had in a mass amount of chakra on his own, a Uzumaki mass amount of chakra, correct, like I just said, the nine-tailed fox chakra, a dormant power that already makes him busted, um, and learned a Jonin level jutsu, the shadow clone jutsu, and perfected it literally in episode three, and did like a multi-shadow clone jutsu, and whooped a, this, Musaki's ass, so, uh, uh, uh. And Sasuke as well. Oh my god, let's not even get me started. Those two were way too strong to be in the academy, alright? Compared to these guys, no. Their generation is stronger. Alright, maybe this generation is a little stronger, but... All the side characters in the original Naruto as a kid were basically not shit compared to all the side characters we're seeing now. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, but the fun, funny thing is, is when you get more deeper into this episode, Boruto does these summoning jutsu. Now, before I actually watched this episode today, a lot of people speculated that it was going to be a snake. Everyone's only saying this because in the beginning, when they talk about the Sunwing Jutsu, Boruto wanted to summon a snake. He liked snakes and wanted to summon a snake. I don't think this is a snake. What people don't understand is in a ton of Japanese mythology, a ton of Asian mythology, there is this B-side creature with a snake tail. There is a lot of images being portrayed about it, and I think within this, what he summoned, 
is something correlating to that. Either it looks like that, either it 100% spot on is that, very different correlation about it, but for now, it is something like that. It is a beast with a snake heavy tail, all right? And it is so powerful that it destroyed an entire building with a small, small, small hit. So, it's, it's pretty powerful. I don't know how the hell he summoned it because he, I don't think, I think he has a very, 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 almost non existent small amount of, uh, what is it, what's it called? The nine tail chakra because he has the whiskers on his face, implying that he has that. So, I think he may have a very small amount, if not none at all. I don't, I don't know. I may have to look into it because I think. Uh, I did my, I think I looked into this a couple months ago, like, er, like, it was like mid or early last year, where the whiskers symbolize nine tails chakra a little bit. So, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just fucked up and half asleep and I'm probably fucking up here. I'm gonna look into it after this, guys. I'm gonna look into this after this, but I don't know how the hell he summoned that. I know Boruto has an insane amount of chakra, just like his father. It's Uzumaki. And also as well, the Huka clan, which they can get chakra control amazing. So, having a huge amount of chakra and being able to control it, that's how basically you can use a Shadow Clone Jutsu with ease at, at this age. That, that's how. It was a little harder for Naruto, but that, that's how Boruto can use it at this age. That's how. Fun fact. But, I don't know what he summoned. Can we talk about man, Konohamaru, popping off? He's like, what a thing gun? And just beats it with ease. It, oh my god. He got the juice now. Konohamaru definitely glowed it up. I'm loving it, man. I'm definitely loving it that Konohamaru is a threat. We've got to watch out for him. He's not shitty ass Iruka Sensei who uses kunai's and a clone jutsu. A clone jutsu, man. Get Iruka's ass out of here. I don't even care if he's a supporting main character for Naruto's quote unquote. I think he's actually based, if I'm not mistaken, he's based off Naruto's father. He's actually a lot of father figures. He's one of the father figures to Naruto, and that's why he was so important, but I don't give a shit, dude. Aruka sensei was ass, dude. He was a chunin. He was ass, man. To where my man, Konohamaru, he's gifted, man. I don't know what the hell Boruto summoned. Next week, though, we see uh, Mitsuki, and we get to see him finally introduced in the series. So I'm pretty excited on that. He is the mystery transfer student. Well, we all know that he's Orochimaru's maid child, so... Pretty interested to see where that goes, guys. If you're enjoying, sub a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.